Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <coughs> Hi everyone, thank you for coming to my personal chan channel. And in this channel, as usual, we are always talking about almost anything because we want to learn about something new every day. We want to improve and upskilling ourselves every day, we, despite our busyness in work, in life, in business, or many other things. Okay, and hopefully you are also uh, you are also healthy and feeling well every day. Okay. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, let's cut to the case. How about if in this uh, opportunity we are talking about this, my friends? Uh, it's all about uh, econometrics in action, a case study of high yield bonds in India, Indonesia. Uh, why I want to talk about this? It's because India in Indonesia is uh, eyed by many country, many country eyeing India and Indonesia because this is the most. These are the two most aggressive country in Asia in terms of economic growth in this year. So many country want to invest in this uh, in both of this country, but there are also some drawbacks. Now, nah, how about the opportunities and the challenge of uh, investing in India and Indonesia? Uh, Let's talk about this from the scientific perspective, which is economic econometric aspect. Okay, first thing first. Uh, what is econometrics? Uh, econometrics is simply is a statistic or mathematic, uh, statistical or mathematic. Maybe uh, more heavy on statistical. Uh, it is a method to analyze and testing what is to be analyzed. Uh, it is the economic data, and what is to be tested. It is the economic theories. Okay. By do, by using this econometrics, uh, it can help us to measure the relationship between different economic variables. What are the economic variables? Uh, maybe you have heard about bond yields, interest rates, inflation, growth, or exchange rates. Uh, okay. After we are we can measuring and gaining some insight from this, it also can help us to forecast some kind of future trends. Also evaluate the effects of the policies of the even of the economy. Yeah, is it interesting? I think so. Yeah. Next, uh, what are the high yield bonds? Uh, high yield bonds is debt securities, which is uh debt that company or corp corporation, uh, usually the corporation, uh, uh, issues to the public, so the public can buy it and get the income after they are buying it with uh, within the expected period. Okay. Uh, but uh, other than the normal bonds. This high yield bonds is have a higher risk of default, uh, but on the other hand, they are also have a higher returns to compensate the investor because of buy, because buying them. Yeah, uh, some investor maybe said this is a junk bonds or maybe a speculative bond because of this high higher risk. Okay. Yeah. Next thing is why India and Indonesia, as I mean mentioned before, uh, India and Indonesia are two of the largest emerging markets in Asia. Both of them are the fast-growing economies, and also they have a large population, especially India. India is the largest population in the world now. They are more have more people than China in this 2023. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and also, uh, they are they are the top issuers among of these high yield bonds. Uh, what does this means? This means India and Indonesia is aggressively grow because. Uh, if they are not aggressively grow, they are only growing normally. They won't be issuing. Uh, there's so many high yield bonds. Okay, In, uh, so it would be attracting uh, both domestic and foreign investor in the regions. Uh, however, uh, India and Indonesia also face different challenges and opportunities. Uh, yeah, and this country is different in terms of geographically different. Their economic performance is different. Inflation is different. Currency is different. Their export import challenges is different. And also, the political stability is also different. Okay, so uh, what is this idea or maybe this data come from? It's because uh, I had read about the article in Bloomberg and that had the title in high yield battle India may beat Indonesia as a top Asian and it kind of intriguing because I'm from Indonesia but after I took I read the data and I evaluate it uh, with some numbers I think yeah India may have an age offer in the Indonesia uh, if we comparing the outlook that because in India is not uh, really dependent on the external factors Indonesia is really dependent on the external factor which is exporting their product uh, or inviting the tourism to their country. Uh, so and I think India may have an over the edge for this. So uh, is it true? Let's uh, find it mathematically. Uh, 
Uh, okay, the next thing is how to use the econometrics to calculate or to assess the economic aspect in our surroundings or in our uh, country. Uh, yeah, econ you, economic uh, econometric is a basic tools, uh, especially for gaining some insight or making a decision. Uh, we can use the most basic uh, basic tools in econometric, which is a linear regression. In this uh, in this case, we are using the multiple linear regression because of there are some variables that affecting uh, of uh, of a bond yield. Okay, uh, this model uh, using the econometrics, we can also estimate how one variable, especially uh, usually they are called the dependent variable, depends on one or more other variables which are independent. Okay. Uh, for example, in the re this real case, uh, we are calculating the bond yield as a dependent variables that depending on the four things, which are interest rate, the inflation rate, the growth rates, and the exchange rate in the country. Okay. Uh, before we are calculating uh, our theory, we can we need also, we absolutely need some data so we can collect some data from many sources on the internet for example we are collecting the data from january 2020 to june 2023 uh, we can find this data from the online sources like trading economics or world bank okay uh, the next thing is data analysis we can use a software like excel or google spreadsheet or r to run a multiple regression analysis on this data for my personal preference i am using the google spreadsheet because it could give me a uh, dire, uh, direct results of the multiple linear regression so uh, the output of the analysis will be give some information about the models like the coefficient itself the standard errors the r squared and also the p values uh, okay, the coefficients is uh, we uh, we will have some kind of equation in the uh, in the end of the modeling. Okay, uh, that will tell us how much the dependent variable changes. So if one variable changes by one unit, how about the other variables? Okay, it will tell us about uh, that relationship. The next thing is the standard errors. They are uh, telling us about the uncertainty from the data that we are doing the model. Okay, the next thing is the R squared. The R squared is uh, tell us how well the model fits the data, uh, especially how much of the variation in the dependent variable expand, explained by the independent variables. That means R, uh, the higher R squared is more correlate, correlated between the independent variables and the dependent variables. The next thing is the p-values. Yeah, the p-values is tell us how likely that uh, it, we will observe this of a uh, coefficient by chance if there was no relationship between the variables okay uh, nah. here is the modeling from india and the process of the modeling itself we will we won't talk about that here because you can find it in google um, or maybe some data analyst or some data scientist could calculate it and show it better than me so uh, we just jump it into the results okay uh, the results uh, because the context of this video is how to use the econometrics not not learning about the methods in econometric itself okay this is the result uh, for india now we have uh, some kind of intercept uh, of the bond uh, we have interest rate inflation rate growth rate exchange rates uh, and we have the r squared uh, for this okay uh, uh, the next thing for indonesia uh, also we have the sum variable after the modeling and uh, we have to compare of this equation uh, we are doing uh, running to modeling so we now have a two equation that we can use them to compare and predict uh, to predict what of course the bond yield for example by the june 2023 the interest in india was 4.25 percent the inflation rate was 5.3 percent the growth rate is 8.2 the exchange rate was 70.74.1 rupees per dollar and uh, the next in the interest rate in indonesia was 3.5 the inflation rate was 1.7%, the growth rate was 6.1%, the exchange rates were 1,400 and 400 rupees per dollar. Okay, uh, after we are running to the equation that we had from those multiple linear regression modeling, we had, we had an estimate of the high bond yield in Indonesia is around 7%. And the Indonesia we get uh, eight percent. Uh, maybe uh, my intuition is wrong in here because uh, luckily Indonesia have a higher bond yield, but uh, it's still counterintuitive to my to my knowledge because India is not really dependent on export. Or maybe my data is not really well because 
there are limitation and the caveats on the calculation of, of this model this uh, especially we are using only a simple regression model so it won't be capture all the complexities so you the investor or the practitioner or the student you should not rely solely on the econometrics to make the decisions use it or as a tool to complement your intuition and judgment if something wrong in your judgment you can uh, make a new model and get an, uh, get another second opinion and insight so you can make your decisions better because the decision making in the end is yourself not the model uh, econometrics can help us understand uh, the past and the present but uh, absolutely uh, it won't tell us so much about the future we can only predict in the future uh, but we we won't have any certainty of that okay guys uh, maybe uh, that's all from me that can be shared today uh, I hope we can learn something new today we can improving ourselves and also upskilling ourselves so we can make this world better and we can make this world a better place uh, and more humanizing humanity if you believe in our mission uh, you can always subscribe and also comment on this video so uh, we can have more energy and excitement to create a new video for all of you guys Okay, I love you. Thank you. See you on the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.